Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical equations. It is square root of 7x square plus 42x plus 57 over x square plus 6x plus 10 equal to half and we have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. If I will check only the value of discriminant for this quadratic denominator, then it is b square minus 4ac. So 6 square minus 40 it is, which is negative 4. Conclusion is complex solutions will be there. There won't be any real solution for which denominator will be 0. So I can simply cross multiply the terms. So I can write x square plus 6x plus 10 equal to 2 times square root of 7x square plus 42x plus 57. Now, I will write our RHS as 2 times square root of, now I will take 7 common. Then it will become x square plus 6x plus 10 suppose then it is 70 and I have to reach up to 57 then minus 13 I need to write. Left hand side is x square plus 6x plus 10. Now you can see a straight away substitution I will put see this bracket. So let us consider x square plus 6x plus 10 equal to a suppose. So our equation will become a equal to 2 times square root of 7a minus 13. Let me write here a equal to 2 times square root 7a minus 13. Now I will write few conditions. See left hand side will be always positive for real solutions. And of course 7a minus 13 this should also be positive for real solutions. If I will take the intersection of both the conditions I can write a should be greater than 13 over 7 which is approximately 1.85. So we will accept only those values of A which is greater than 1.85. Let's solve this quadratic equation. A equal to 2 times square root 7A minus 13. Now I will take squaring both sides. So I will write power 2 and this side also power 2. So I will be writing A square equal to 4 times square root and power 2 will be over 7a minus 13 or 28a minus 52. Take all the terms to LHS. So I can write one quadratic a square minus 28a plus 52 equal to 0. Now I will solve this quadratic equation with the help of factorization method. Let me write here a square minus 28a plus 52 equal to 0. I will split our middle term a square minus 28. So I can write minus 26a minus 2a. And here I will be writing plus 52, 0. From these two terms, I will take a common, so in bracket a minus 26. From last two terms, I can take minus 2 common, then it will be a minus 26 again. Right hand side is 0. a minus 26 is overall common. And second factor, I will write a minus 2 equal to 0. Conclusion is 
either a minus 26 will be 0 or a minus 2 will be 0. So from here I can write a equal to 26 and here we can write a equal to 2. And if I will apply our condition, it was a should be greater than 1.85. So I will accept both the solutions. You can see this is greater than 1.85 and this is obviously greater than 1.85. So we will accept both the values of A for real solutions. Now what was A? A was our substitution x square plus 6x plus 10. So I will apply this value here and here. We will solve two quadratic equations. Let me frame here x square plus 6x plus 10 equal to 2 and second quadratic x square plus 6x plus 10 equal to 26. So we have to solve these two quadratic equations. Let's solve one by one. So I will be writing here x square plus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula this time. x is equal to minus b. So minus 6 plus minus under the root b square. So 36 minus 4ac. So minus 32 divided by 2a. So 2. Next step I can write minus 6 plus minus. This is square root 4 which is 2 divided by 2. So I can write it is minus 6 plus 2 over 4. So minus 4 over 2 and minus 6 minus 2 over 2. So it will become minus 8 over 2. So ultimately we are having minus 2 and minus 4, two real solutions. Now come to this second quadratic equation. Again I can apply quadratic formula. So I will be writing here x is equal to minus b minus 6 plus minus under the root b square. But before that I should write x square plus 6x minus 16 equal to 0. Now b square is 36 minus 4ac plus 64 divided by 2a so 2. Next step I can write minus 6 plus minus this is square root 100 which is 10 divided by 2 10 minus 6 over 2 so I will write 4 over 2 minus 6 minus 10 over 2 so it is minus 16 over 2 so we can conclude with two another real solutions 2 and minus 8 let us cross examine all the four solutions I will write here check and I will begin with very first solution x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so LHS numerator I will be writing 7 times 2 square it is 7 times 4 28 plus 42 times minus 2 minus 84 plus 57 divided by x square so 4 minus 12 plus 10. So if I will simplify this then it is coming out 85 28 plus 57 minus 84 divided by 14 minus 12 2. So it is the square root of 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 which is equal to RHS. Hence this solution is true and verified. Now let us consider x is equal to next solution is negative 4. Okay, left hand side I will be writing the square root of 7 times 16. So it is 112 plus 42 times minus 4. So it will become minus 168 plus 57 divided by x square so 16 
plus 6x, so minus 24 and plus 10. So if I will add 112 plus 57, then it is converting into 169 minus 168 divided by 26 minus 24, 2. So again, we'll be having a square root 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2, which is RHS, hence verified. Now let us consider third solution. X is equal to 2. LHS, I will be writing here the square root of 7x square, so 7 times 4, 28 plus 42 times 2, 84 plus 57 divided by 4 plus 12 plus 10. So if I will add all the numbers, it is square root 169 and denominator if you will see 12 plus 10, 22 plus 4, 26. This is 13 over 26. So I can write equal to 1 over 2, which is our RHS. Hence verify. Let's verify the last solution. It was negative 8. Negative 8 is square times 7. So it is square root of 4, 4, 8. 42 times negative 8 minus 336 then 57 will be there divided by 8 square so I will be writing 64 6 times minus 8 minus 48 plus 10 so if I will simplify this side it will be square root of 448 minus 336 it is 112 plus 57 divided by 74 minus 48 so 26 now if i will check this value is square root 169 once again divided by 26 which is equal to 13 over 26 which is equal to 1 by 2 which is our rhs hence verified and this brings the end of this video. I hope you will enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.